everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well a long time no speak so today is a very special day because it is my nephew's 18th birthday and i was actually planning on sitting down and doing a get ready with me type video where i do my makeup and i do my hair and I just had too much of a chill out morning and then when I realised the time after I got out of my shower I was just like I ain't going to have time to sit down and do a video but I really wanted to do one and so I just thought I'd try and do some vlogging instead like I've never tried to do a vlog before like all of my videos have been a sit down, chill out no they haven't been sit down and chill out what am i talking about <laughs> all of my videos have been like very structured and i just kind of wanted to do something that was like really relaxing and so yeah so i've got ready it is currently i don't know what time it is what time is it it's currently four o'clock and i think me and adam should have left for my sister's like half an hour ago but then again story of my life i'm always late for everything um so we've just been getting ready and this is the aftermath of me getting ready as you can see adam went to his parents earlier and to pick up some clothes that he left at their house and he's dumped them on the end of my bed and not removed them shocking so that means i'm gonna have one hell of a mess to clean up when i get back but anyway what are you doing? <clears throat> Ad, yeah. what are you doing? I'll just put some gel in the hair. Oh, do you want to come and show the camera your new haircut? Show it. Here he is. Hi, how Hello. are you? All right. Let's check out your new hair, do you? Because you had your hair cut yesterday, didn't you? Looking yes. very smart. Well, thank you very much. Do you want to I step back a little bit and do a bit of an outfit of the day for us? Totally put you on the spot. Well, uh, yeah, the socks <laughs> are mine, the boxes are mine, <laughs> uh, the jeans are my mates, and the tops are my mates. But I always have his casts off, so anyway, so. Um. I'm sure he'll comment on Facebook later if any pictures come on saying, Have you got any clothes of your own? <laughs> And I won't say the name, but I'm pretty sure his missus and him will guess. Yeah. So yeah. So we're just about to go now, and it's pouring with rain. So uh, fun times. And uh, yeah, gonna have a time meal. I know. Oh, let's just look out the window. It's not exactly sunny, is it? Haven't had time for a very long time, so. That. Oh, I need to do my outfit of the day. We can edit that bit out while I'm just, anyway. Yeah, we'll do. So then. But I just had to say. <laughs> I thought I'd just do like a little quick outfit of the day. So I've got this little kimono one from Boohoo that I bought back in January, I believe. And it was like, I think it was like only £15 it was in the sale. But it's just got like nice frilly sleeves and it's slightly longer at the back. But it does look, it just look really cute. And I've got like this little strappy vest top on that I got from ASOS a few weeks ago. And then I've got some straight leg jeans on, which are the ruby jeans from yours as well. And then I've got some new like rose gold ballet pumps that I'm going to wear. And they're also from yours and I got those in the sale a few weeks ago. So yeah, and then obviously I've just got my jewellery on, my usual. That's about it. So, good morning, well, should I say good afternoon everyone, so today is, I'm just going to put my hood up because I just want to be super cosy, um, so today is Sunday the 30th of August, it is August Bank Holiday Weekend, 2k20, um, I am still in my pyjamas, it is 25 past 1 I believe, don't judge me it's a sunday i like to have a pajama day on the sunday if i can um so i kind of feel like yesterday i was just really rushed i kind of switched on my camera said that i was going out for my nephew's 18th birthday yesterday which was amazing so um we went over to my sister's and we kind of chilled out there for a little bit i gave my nephew his present in which i bought him a gaming chair he's 
so into his gaming um he doesn't really have like a proper um like chair to sit on well he's kind of been using like one of the dining room chairs and he's been on about having a proper like gaming chair for ages so adam and i got him one of those for his birthday um we kind of sat and had a bit of a chill out and a few drinks at my sister's house and then we went out in the evening for thai food um to a place called a runner thai which is in hooknall and it was so so good like i've never really had like proper thai food before um but this was just like so good so to start i had like these prawns like wrapped in phyllo pastry with like a sweet chili sauce and i've got to say it was the nicest sweet chili sauce i've ever ever had and then for my main i had what did i have oh yeah i had the beef masa man curry with coconut rice and that was delicious it was like chunks of beef with like whole potatoes in it in like this really nice kind of like curry sauce it's kind of like a beef stew um, but thai style i guess and it also had like cashew nuts in it as well and that was that was so so good and then we kind of stayed there for a bit had some drinks had a chat took some photos which was nice so just to kind of make some really nice memories for my nephew um then we went back to my sister's house and she made the most delicious chocolate cake ever um for my nephew's birthday so it was, it was his birthday cake and it was so good um so we had some cake and then we played cards against humanity which Oh my god, if you've ever, ever played it or not played it, it is so funny, but it's so weird. Um, but yeah, no, it, was a, it was a good night, and we eventually got back, or Adam and I got back home, I would say, probably about half past 11 last night. And then we kind of like sat, chilled out, and then we eventually got to bed at like 1 this morning. Needless to say, we didn't get up very early. However, we've already had like a productive morning. This morning like when we got up, we started to clean the house because our house is just a bit of a tip and just like stuff left around everywhere. Like, I think <laughs> we can add it, or I am certainly like a messy person and... Like, I tend to put stuff out and not necessarily put it away again. Um, Adam <laughs> is a bit more tidier than me, but I just kind of felt like our house needed to clean. So we started to clean the kitchen this morning. I've hoovered downstairs. And then we had breakfast, which was so, so nice. And then we chilled out, watched the Goldbergs, which we love watching the Goldbergs. Um, we love watching, like, all the comedies that are, like, on E... Is it on like E4 or 4 or whatever? So we love watching the Goldbergs, we love watching Big Bang Theory. Um, we've been binge watching like the old series of the in-betweeners recently and things like that. Um, so I think what we're going to do for the rest of the day is I need to tackle that over there. So that is clean washing that just needs to be put away. And I also want to tidy up those Ottomans as well and just put everything back. Um... We're currently just doing some washing. Um, I'm going to clean the bathroom in a bit, in which I've already like had all the bath mats and the towels in a wash. They're currently drying right now, um, which I just love it. I love having a clean bathroom and then putting a freshly clean bath mats and towels back in there to use. It's just like the best feeling ever. And then I think we're also going to wash the bed sheets today as well. So we've got really nice cozy beds to get into tonight and then eventually at some point once i've done all my cleaning i'm gonna get myself a shower and then for tea tonight we're gonna have pasta bolognese yes it's a sunday normally i would do a roast but i'm just not really feeling a roast today um so yeah i'm gonna make pasta bolognese and i'm actually gonna show you how i do it wow guys so here i am fresh <laughs> out of the shower finally um so adam and i have done all of our cleaning today which is just amazing because there is nothing better than just a clean house and then i've just had the most amazing shower as you can see i've just washed my hair um and i just thought i just chuck on some comfy clothes so the joggers i don't know whether you can see them just full length ones from yours clothing that i got back in january and then i've just got a little vest top on which was not all that much money actually from asos and i got that about 
I think it was like the end of July when I got it. Um, I just wanted like a cheap little vest top. These are so good just to wear in the summer with like a little cardio over. Or I like to wear these in the winter with jumpers and stuff like that. So to put them underneath the jumper when it's a little bit cold. Just something that's a little bit closer to your body, that kind of thing. So yeah, like I really, really love it and it's really comfy. And then as you can see on the back, it's just kind of like a V on the back as it is at the front. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't even know whether I was in shot then, but, yeah. So, that is it. So, oh, I just kind of, like, thought, I kind of want to chat about my hair. So, as you might have noticed on some of, well, particularly on the last video that I did, and also yesterday, my hair. So, I... I'm going to get comfy for this one. So, and I didn't, right, so I don't think I've ever really properly gone into it. So as you would have seen on my last video that I did, um, my hair was like bright red at the ends and blonde at the roots. And that is because Donut here decided to try and dye her hair blonde, still having brown hair dye on it um, so back in March just before lockdown I managed to get an appointment with the hairdressers I was one of the very lucky few and I went for blonde balayage now as you see in my really earlier videos I did have a little bit of blonde in there but my hair was mainly brown and during lockdown obviously hairdressers weren't open my roots were growing out and a few grey hairs in there which is not good don't like the greys and therefore I decided you know what what could go wrong I'm just going to go down to Tesco get myself some box hair dye try and dye it blonde myself and Adam kept saying to me don't do it don't do it it's going to go wrong I'm like what could go wrong I thought do you know what it's not going to be all that bad however <laughs> I got my blonde hair dye and which was the Schwarzkopf one and I've used Schwarzkopf I can't even say that name properly Schwarzkopf I think that's how you pronounce it um I've used that um, brand before and I thought yeah like this will be all right this will be fine on the bottom of the box it did say do not use this blonde hair dye if you have already got previous like colour on your hair, which I already have. But then I was thinking, do you know what? What the hell could go wrong? What could go wrong? So your girl here decides to like just go ahead with it. I got the shock of my life when I washed it out. I literally had bright blonde roots, can't even speak, and bright red ends. I nearly cried. I was like, what the hell have I done? Um... Yeah, so that was like a massive shock. So I left it for quite a bit. And then eventually when the hairdressers opened, um, hairdresser contacted me saying, do you want an appointment? I said, yes, please. Um, I kind of wanted my hair dyed, but on her Facebook page, she said that she was doing patch testing on the first day that she opened up. However, I live a good hour away from where my hairdresser is. And I thought, I'm not driving an hour just to get a five minute patch test done. So I thought, I'll just put my hair in for a cut and blow dry, which I had done a couple of weeks ago. And which is just so much better. Like my hair at the ends is just so much healthier. I've got all the dead ends taken off. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna try and dye it blonde again. So I went out and got the same blonde hair dye and try and dyed it blonde again and it's still gone patchy it's not it's actually just really bad i'm not even gonna lie roxa put my hairdressers the other week for my appointment she looked at me and she was like you were a lot blonder than like what you were last time i saw you and i was like yeah told what happened and she was like i need to stick a side round your neck telling everybody not to sell you box hair dye i was like yes you do so i had a chat with her and luckily at the end of september um, I've got my hair booked in again for another cut and a colour. I've told her exactly what I want. I still want to be blonde um, and she is going to colour correct it for me and just get rid of all the redness out of it. Like, <laughs> I just hate it. I can't believe I was so stupid to do it but it was locked down. I was desperate. I kind of wanted to make myself feel better and I just ended up creating this mess. Like it's just not the best at all. Um, so yeah, but one thing that I have been using, actually I'm going to go back to the bathroom because I want to show you some of these 
blue shampoos that I've been using to kind of like stop the brassiness and it has helped a lot. Shampoos that I've been using to try and keep my hair nice and not brassy or to try and kind of maintain it are the Bleach London Silver Conditioner and Shampoo. And then I've also been using the John Frieda Violet Crush for blondes. I only kind of try to use this like maybe once a week now because I didn't realise how dry it was on my hair until my hairdresser told me about it. But then I've also been using, just to wash my hair any other time, the Herbal Essences. What is this? Let me bring it forward. Yeah, so this is the Herbal Essences essences herbal essences hello hydration shampoo i love coconuts and it's perfect for dry hair which is what i've got so i'm using that and then if my hair is kind of flaky at all which sometimes my hair is i've been using <laughs> flicking water everywhere the head and shoulders color protect shampoo as well just in case my head is a bit flaky another thing that i want to tell you about that i found recently for my hair because it has been really dry is this so this is the bleach we go focus focus i come to <laughs> why is it not focusing is that better there we go so this is the bleach london hair elixir and this is basically a really nice hair oil and what you do is you put it on your hair mid length and just basically rub it through and it just gives you like really really good hydration it just stops your hair from drying out like you basically just need one pipetful into the palm of the hand like that rub it in and then i just rub it through the ends of my hair i've not even like brushed my hair yet um and it smells really good too it's got avocado avocado it's got <laughs> avocado oil in it and i've been finding that i try to use this every time when i wash my hair if i remember to use it but it just keeps my hair like really nice and hydrated i kind of put it get my hair into a low ponytail like this so from here downwards through the mid lengths of my hair that's where i do it all the way through to the tip and it just basically helps to keep my hair really nice and hydrated and i've got a tiny little bit of excess that i kind of run through the roots i don't try and put too much on the roots because i don't want it to go greasy but yeah so as i'm not really going anywhere um i'm just gonna let my hair dry as normal it's currently a little bit later on in the evening now and the current mood appropriate sweatshirt um is that i'm cold and i'm hungry so i'm going to show you how i make the pasta bolognese that <clears throat> basically my mum taught me how to make it and it's just a recipe that she made up on her own um because i know that a lot of people i'm just gonna have to pop you down there and i'm really sorry about the lighting situation <laughs> this is like the best way that I can do it but yeah as I was saying it's kind of like a recipe that my mum made up I know that a lot of people kind of do it a bit differently and put carrot in it I don't put carrot in it um, or anything like that but I will show you what I do use so the first thing that I use is um, 100 what is this beef steak mince and this is just the five percent fat stuff that i got from tesco's the other day i always always use a five percent um fat mince just because it is the best one to use i find and i don't like any kind of oiliness or greasiness and i like to keep this as healthy as i possibly can as i said earlier like adam and i are really trying to be healthy and like watch what we eat and this is just the best one to use um obviously if i can't get my hands on this then i'll kind of go for like the next one which is like the 15 percent fat but always 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 if i can i always get this one then the next thing that i use to kind of like give it a lot of flavor is chopped garlic well lazy garlic again i know this is in oil but i always try to drain the oil off um, and also I can't be bothered with like proper garlic I hate peeling it and I just find it like so fiddly so I always go for this so you will need that put some also you'll need some mixed herbs that 
else. Any kind of like beef stock cubes, I just picked these up out of Tesco's and grabbed them quick. So these are the Nor rich beef stock pots and they're also gluten free as well, which I'm not gluten intolerant, but just in case you're wondering if you are, then you can use these if you are gluten intolerant. Um, but yeah, these are actually really, really good. I'm just gonna use one of these. I'm not gonna use the whole packet. And we've got, you need one onion, bit of tomato puree, I always put two peppers in, so I've just got a red and a green one which I've already washed. Also some mushrooms. I do not know how well you can see this, like the lighting is just so, so bad. But yeah, like just some sliced mushrooms there that I grabbed. Um, a tin of chopped tomatoes and also some fry light. guys this is the finished dinner um it looks so so yummy and there is also enough left um for like other dinners as well so you know i'm just gonna let this cool down and then i'm gonna pop that into some tupperware tubs and i'm gonna freeze it for another day when i want some yummy dinner but i cannot be bothered to cook so i'm gonna let that cool down Adam and I are gonna eat this. I cannot wait, it looks so good. So, hey everyone, I hope you are well. Um, today is a bank holiday Monday and it is currently half past 12. Um, 
so I've been up for quite a while and so has Adam. We kind of was chilling out and we've had breakfast and now we've both got ready and we are ready to go out. We've decided that because we've like spent quite a bit of time in the house over the past couple of weekends and obviously with me working from home and everything, um, we decided that we just wanted to go out and um, I don't even know where I'm holding my camera straight. Um, yeah, so we've decided that we're just going to go out and um, kind of just have a look around the shop. So we're going to go into Mansfield and just kind of like see what's around. I know that Adam wants to pop into Home Bargains um, and things like that. So yeah, so I have put on the tiniest little bit of makeup just because I know that we're going to be going into shops and I'm going to have to wear a face mask. So I was like, what's the point in doing a full face if it's going to come off? So I just did my eyebrows and my lashes and I just put on a bit of balm. So I'll show you what I've used. I have used um, the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is like my holy grail. In fact, these three products here in the silver packaging, Benefit has to be my favourite by far for brow products so i put in a bit of the benefit gimme brow which as you can see this is really well loved had it for quite quite a while that is in the shade three i then used a bit of the precisely my brow pencil a bit of the 24 hour brow setter and then for my lashes um this is like a recent purchase of mine i've got the nars climax mascara this is just a little oh God, that's really close that's just a little travel size that i've got and then on my lips i've got the new well they've been out for a few months but they are relatively new the new nars after go glow lip balms and this is in the shade orgasm and it's really really nice um so yeah that is what we've been up to this morning um what i'll do is i'll go show you a quick outfit of the day so this is my outfit of the day i'm just wearing this nice little jumper with like some lace detailing i got this from cotton traders like three years ago i believe and this is the first time i've ever worn it and because it is quite cold outside i've just put on a little vest top that i got from asos a couple of weeks ago if you <laughs> saw the vest top that I wore the other night to go out in um, for my nephew's birthday. Um, this white one that I've got underneath is exactly like the black one, just in a different colour. And then I've also got on, don't know how well you can see that, just some cropped jeans from yours clothing as well. So we are currently in the car on the... Switch that off. So we're currently in the car on the way to Mansfield. Cannot wait to get around the shops because I've not been in there for quite a long time. I really want to get in Primark. Is there anywhere you want to go? Somewhere that sells caffeine. I hope Costa. Oh, Costa. Yeah, Costa. I'm going to get to Costa. If they're open. Hopefully they're open. Did you say you wanted to go in Sports Direct? Oh, and yeah. Get a bargain in Sports Direct, people. Oh, God. Sorry, the camera's really shaky. It's just that like we're going around roundabouts and I can't. Oh, wow! And I can't hold it steady. <laughs> You're doing that deliberately. <laughs> so yeah, like I think we need to go into home bargains. We want to go and have a quick look in Sports Direct. I want to go look in Primark if we can get that far. Just because we haven't been there. For, well, I haven't been there for ages. I mean, last time I went into Primark was back in January, I believe. Um, so yeah. Can't wait, and I could actually really do with a cup of coffee myself, to be honest. is us pulling up to the retail park in Mansfield and to be honest I kind of bottled it like taking my camera in I was gonna like take your cam take the camera into the and take you well take you guys into the shops with me and show you guys what is kind of in there and things like that but then 
I don't know, like I just kind of felt really awkward. And plus, I just wanted like a really good look round. And then what I thought I would do is just kind of come back home and then just show you guys what we got. So first of all, we did go into Home Bargains um, and got a few bits in there, which I will show you now. So we actually got quite a lot of stuff. Like we took this one bag in with us and then we ended up getting more than what we actually needed. <laughs> we had to like buy this cute little Harry Potter bag to put the rest of it in. So what did we get? So I'll start off with this bag first. Oh my God. So the first thing that I got was this Dead Sea Collection um, hand wash. I've never heard of this brand before and it it's a thousand mil so a litre which I thought was really good for only two well 199 absolute bargain and it's what is it it's the coconut mineral hand wash with natural dead sea minerals and coconut oil and oh it smells so so good um I think we might pull back upstairs in the bathroom, but that is going to last us absolutely ages. That's the first thing that we got. Then we picked up some good old Domestos bleach because when I was cleaning the bathroom yesterday, I actually used the last of the one that we've already got upstairs. So I thought I'd buy this one, try it out. And then coffee is life. Um, I did buy a jar of coffee the other day from Tesco's when I went shopping, but I think the one that I got was like only a 200 gram jar. Adam and I get through coffee like there is no tomorrow. We cannot survive without it. Um, and this jar is like a 300 gram jar and I think it was only five pounds from Home Bargains. So that was really, really good. Then we got some more hand soap. And again, I think this was like, I want to say it was two pounds so this is the mango and passion fruit mango passion fruit and orange hand wash and let's give this a little smell see what this is like oh yeah that is really really nice that is actually really fresh and fruity um so that it's another little bargain there i know where to put all of this stuff and um, what else did we get oh yes yeah, so I don't think we've got any like antibacterial spray left in the house. We've got antibacterial wipes, which are okay to use, but I don't really like using the wipes. I do prefer to use the spray. And this is the Dettol Fresh and Clean Multi-Purpose Spray. And it is prom pomegranate, pomegranate and lime splash. I have smelt this before. And I think by far, this has to be the most nicest smelling disinfectant spray I've ever ever like smelled <laughs> really it's so so nice and obviously I think this is like two pounds again in home bargains and it's a litre as well so that is going to last quite a long time um so yeah it just oh, if you can get your hands on this I do recommend it because it will make your house smell so so nice and yeah, it was just oh, so happy I found that. And then, this actually kind of like, was an absolute bargain as well. So this is the Purcell non-bio liquid wash. And each bottle, you actually get two bottles in a pack for 8 99 Each bottle is meant to have like 76 washes in it. Um, we've just recently started using this and we really really like it and when we saw that it was a double pack for 8 99 when i think in tesco's the other day i want to say that these bottles for the same size bottle i think they were like five or six pounds each so if you can get get yourself down to your local home bargains and get this then that is amazing that again is going to last us quite a while and of course we picked up a massive bottle of Lenore fabric softener because we're nearly running out of the one that we've got. And this one is 112 washes. And I think, again, this was like only five pounds, which I think in, 
I want to say in Tesco, it's normally around about seven or eight pounds. So again, massive saving there. Now I know why it's called Home Bargains. And last but not least in this bag, but not for the shop. Yeah, so then we've got just some fairy liquid. This one is the apple orchard one, which is my favorite scent. Then in the other bag that we got from, <laughs> I don't know where to put anything. Let's put that down there. And then in the other bag that we got from Home Bargains, let me just move this out of the way. Oh my God. I never know where to put anything in this house. So the next couple of bits we got from there is grass seed our grass is really patchy um you don't notice it when the grass is really long but when adam has cut it 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 looks like there's barely any grass there um and i've been wanting to put some grass seed down for ages and adam said that this is the best one so that is what we've got i think they were like less than a pound each i think which is good so if you've got patchy grass Hopefully, Adam said that that's like the best one to get or something, I don't know. I don't even know what make it is. Oh, it just says Speedy Seed. Oh, wow. Then I also picked up some Imperial Leather Foam Burst. And what flavour is this in? This is in a lychee and lotus flower. I do love a little bit of Imperial Leather Foam Burst. Then we picked up another hand wash. God, we at least you know that we wash our hands in the, in this house. Um, we've got a load of hand wash, but yeah, this is the same flavour as the one that I showed you earlier. So this is mango, mango, passion fruit, and orange, which again smells really, really nice. A toothbrush, two packets of paracetamol, chuck it everywhere. Um, some Nivea black and white invisible original deodorant. What's this? Batiste dry shampoo. This is in the um, scent called Sweetie, but I thought that the actual can is really cute. Like the decoration on the can, I don't know whether I don't know how well the camera is picking that up, but it's got like these little Russian dolls on it, which is super cute. And then, what's these? Oh, these are kind of like a cheaper version of Barocca. Um, so these are like the ever effervescent drinks and they are in a tropical, tropical flavour. But by no means least, kitchen towel. I went into TK Maxx and I nearly screamed with delight. I always go to the makeup counter or the makeup section in there. That is like the first place that I always gravitate to because you can find some right little gems in there. And I found a right little gem indeed. I've wanted this for a very, very long time. This is the Huda Beauty Winter Salted Winter Salted <laughs> Winter Solstice. Salt, I can't even speak what is wrong with me let me start again so this is the Huda Beauty winter solstice <laughs> highlighter palette <laughs> and normally this is 40 pounds got it for 19.99 I'm so so happy I've wanted this for a very very long time oh my god <laughs> and there it is in all its glory let's do a little swatch test so we've got, ooh. So Frosted Kiss, which is this one here, that feels like a cream. Then we've got Arctic Glow, which is definitely, oh, definitely a powder. Oh my God, it's a powder. Then we have Northern Lights. Oh my God. And Winter Rose. Let me just swatch Frosted Kiss again. I don't know how well that is picking up on camera, but oh my days. Now the next couple of bits that I've got are the two Nanshi sponges, and these are so, so good. They were like 2 dollars each. Um, they're makeup sponges, and they're just super, super soft. 
um, and they just apply my makeup beautifully. I've already got one upstairs that I bought quite a while ago, um, but it's looking a bit dirty. So I thought I'd get myself two more and they have quite a few of these in as well. So um, I definitely do recommend these because they're really, really good. And then the next thing that I picked up was just this two in one jade facial roller like every time i do like a sheet mask like i i've i don't know like i've heard that if you put your sheet mask on and then you use one of these to like roll over the top it's meant to really help kind of push the product into your skin and things like that and also what does this do so this has got like two sides to it so you've got a smooth side at the top and then a rough side at the bottom and um, the smooth side de-puffs and reduces the appearance of dark under eye circles for a well-rested look. And then the textured side gently exfoliates skin and improves the absorption, absorption of products. Um, and apparently this is made with natural crystal stone and it was um, $9.99. So from TK Maxx, he actually got two pairs of Skechers trainers, um, which he said that he's been, he was looking at Skechers trainers online the other night. And they're all coming up at like 70 pounds. He went into TK Maxx today and picked up two pairs for 70 pounds, which was amazing. So he got these this pair, which is like a I want to say like the leather bit on here, so around the toe caps and up here, and um, that's kind of like a grey colour, and then it's got like I don't know what you call this fabric, but it's blue here and it's got like holes in it. Um, I guess to keep your feet smelling fresh, I don't really know. <laughs> but they are memory foam and memory foam are the best. And then the next pair that you got was, they are the similar, actually the same style, but in black. Um, so this is what they look like. Really and these were also $34.99 as well. Then we went over to Sports Direct. Oh, excuse me. So, what did he get? Ooh. So, he basically picked up just two pairs of tracky bottoms. I think these are Lonsdale, which are quite nice. They've got like a little Lons Lonsdale logo on the leg. Two little stripes down the side, they're in the shade black, and also they've got zipped pockets on them as well. And these are actually really quite deep pockets, which is really, really nice. And they've also got like the little drawstring and tie things at the waist, which is really good. And they're also cuffed at the bottom as well. And again, I think they were, did I say? If I didn't, they were $9.99. And um, what's the next pair? What is this? Oh, yeah. He's basically bought two pairs of the same thing, which is what he wanted anyway. If that is everything, I think, to be honest, I'm not going to be doing a lot for the rest of the day. I just kind of want to chill out. Uh, we're going to have some tea later. So I think we're going to have jacket potatoes with some salad and some tuna. And which is what I kind of really just fancy just some salad and some tuna and jacket taters really so that's what we're gonna have um so yeah so what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here um and start editing it and get it up as soon as possible let me know down in the comments um it'd be lovely to know what you guys have got up to on this bank holiday weekend um I hope you've had lots of fun I hope you're staying safe and yeah I guess I shall see you in the next one bye